So we went back to Business School 101, and we said, <clears throat> what do our products, what do our customers want in our products? What kind of products do they want? And they wanted two fundamental kinds of products. They wanted consumer products, and they wanted pro products. Our design and publishing customers primarily wanted the pro products. Our education customers primarily wanted the consumer products. But they also wanted two different kinds of each one, desktop and portable. And we looked at this and we said, now, this looks pretty simple, but we couldn't find a way to come up with anything else that captured what they wanted as succinctly and as clearly as this. We said, finally, this is it. We've got to make four great products, and we can meet the needs of what our customers are telling us they want. And we've spent the last 10 months working like crazy to try to do just that. So the first one was the Desktop Pro product, right? the core of our publishing market. And of course, we introduced that product in November based on the G3 chip. It's a Power Macintosh G3. And we've had exceptional success with this product. We've sold over 500,000 of these in the first six months of the product's life, making it the most successful new Mac in Apple's history. The team did a superb job on this product. It's based, of course, on the PowerPC G3 chip, which is a screamer. Now, its competitor, of course, is the Pentium 2. <laughs> and what is remarkable, what's hard to fathom but true here, is that for a given clock rate, a PowerPC chip is twice as fast as a Pentium 2 chip. In other words, a 266 megahertz G3 is twice as fast as a 266 Pentium 2 or 266 G3 is equal to about a 500 megahertz Pentium 2. Of course, you can't even make one of those, but if you could, that's what it would be equal to. A 300 megahertz G3 chip is equal to a 600 megahertz Pentium 2. Now, how do we know this? We know this not only by using the systems, but we got the best independent benchmark there is, which is Byte Magazine's Byte Marks. And these are sort of one of the gold standards in the industry of performance, and they publish the results. And here's the results. The blue bars are the 266 and 300 megahertz Pentium 2s, and the bars on fire are the G3s. And they just toast them. And as a matter of fact, um, Intel, we've been running some ads, as you know, Intel went back to Byte Magazine and said, this can't be true. And Byte Magazine examined all of their tests, and they stood by their results and republished them. Now, Intel has since come out with a 400 megahertz Pentium 2. How does that stack up? Not much better. <laughs> Not much better. And so when we run these ads, <clears throat> they're very effective in our testing. <laughs> and they're effective because they're true. We are extremely happy today to introduce a totally new PowerBook G3. This thing has been redesigned from the processor to the keycaps and it is going to set the new gold standard for portables out there. It is hot. It's also very beautiful. This is a side profile here, and this is what it looks like from the back. The back of this thing even is gorgeous. And oh, one other thing. It eats Pentium notebooks for lunch, too. <laughs> and <clears throat> it's got options on displays. It's got a 12-inch display that's 800 by 600, same as the high-end Apple Portables do now. But it goes further. For the first time in Apple Portables, it goes beyond 12-inch displays to a 13-inch 1024 by 768 display and that same resolution in a 14-inch display. 12, 13, and 14. <clears throat> in addition, this thing is incredibly modular. It's built with these two bays. And so you can put one battery or two batteries in. Each battery gives you three and a half hours of battery life. So you can have up to seven hours of battery life with two batteries. You can also put in a floppy disk drive, a CD-ROM, a DVD-ROM drive, or a third-party zip drive in there. And the bays are all hot swappable. <clears throat> the batteries. 
The batteries are designed with a special feature. You just push a little button, it tells you exactly the state of the battery, whether it's in or out of the computer, and it's got the best keyboard of any portable we know of out there. Now, this thing is powered by a G3 chip, so it is a screamer. And it comes in 33, 233, 250, and 292 megahertz. So we're putting our fastest chips into these things, which we can do because ours don't draw very much power and you don't have to fry an egg on them. And so we went out and said, okay, how does this stack up against the other Pentium notebooks out there? We found the fastest Pentium notebook you can get. Matter of fact, they're really hard to get because they can hardly make them. And we had one flown in special. This is the latest, greatest one, a 266 megahertz P2. And these are the bite marks, right? 3.9. Let me show you the three speed ranges of the new G3 PowerBooks. So I'd like to invite Phil Schiller, our Vice President of Worldwide Product Marketing on the stage to help me with some demos. Phil? Hi, Steve. Good to see you. Tell us about your computer here, Phil. Well, I'm glad here to come out and try to take you on head to head because Great. you asked me to go out and get the biggest and the best, and I did. Um, this is the brand new Compact Amarta 7800. There are thousands of Windows customers waiting in line right now to try to get their hands on this computer. Luckily, we flew someone down to LA and got one before anyone else could, leaving plenty of Windows customers in the lurch because they couldn't get this very machine. It's got a Pentium 2, the new mobile Pentium 2.